Hi guys, Krishnan Gurumurthy is worth his weight in reporting gold. As he held Tory MP for Dover, Natalie Efflick's feet to the fire in this car crash of an interview. Krishnan asked the same question that was asked of the Home Secretary Suella Braverman a few weeks ago, which she mumbled some incoherent drivel about before passing the question over to a Home Office Minister. Natalie represents a constituency that is seeing the largest number of arrivals, so you would think that she would at least have an answer to this question, but Natalie isn't the sharpest tool in the box. She crashed and burned here. Have a listen. Can you answer the question that the Home Secretary couldn't, that was posed by your Conservative colleague Tim Lawton, a 16-year-old who fears persecution from an East African country, wants to come to Britain to claim asylum? What is the safe and legal route for him? The answer is that there are a range of different uh, asylum and support systems all over the world. There are can, hundreds can you give million me one people. Way that that person could claim asylum in a safe and legal way. And I, come I to don't this know the individual or their circumstances. So it's a hypothetical, Natalie. It's a hypothetical. Now, obviously, she can't answer this question because she'd have to say, uh, "No, there are no safe routes." But if she says that, <laughs> then. The, the next question was, would be, well, then how are people supposed to get to the UK to claim asylum? Um, unsafe routes. Crossing the channel. Now, either Natalie doesn't know this, which would be very worrying, or she's pretending not to know this. She can't say that there are safe routes. Because there are none. Because if she were to say there are safe routes, people would ask, well, what are they? Well... Normally, a safe route could be going to the, the embassy, making a claim there, or uh, working through the United Nations, making a claim through them. But you can't do that in certain countries. There, there are countries you can actually arrive to the UK and make a claim safely. Ukraine being one, Hong Kong being another. But if you're coming from an African nation, for example, you can't. That's why people are crossing the channel. So what I will say is You don't this. have an answer either. That's no, the truth, I, I have. It? I am giving you. I am giving you an answer, and I think you. Should. No, you're not. <laughs> you're 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 saying words, but you're not providing an answer because you don't have an answer. Should let me answer the question. Um, well, each individual, here, each individual in each country and each nationality has to be considered, uh, and I do not have that information. They have to be considered. Okay, where are they considered? Are they considered in their own country? Well, no, because you don't have an office in those countries. So they have to be considered when they arrive in the UK. And if they can't jump on a plane and arrive in Heathrow Airport, because the airlines are not allowed to take people, if they do, they're fined. They won't let you on the plane unless you have the right documentation. That's why people are taking these dangerous routes. So once again, if you're, you're, if you're saying, well, each individual has to be dealt with on a on an individual basis. Where do you treat them as individuals? Where do you process them? Where is the first step? Well, it has to be in the UK because you don't have an office to process this these cases in foreign countries. But what I think, Iran, but what no, no, example. but what I think is really important. There needs to be no confusion that there are a large number of countries globally who, like Britain, play a full role in supporting people in need of asylum and support yeah. throughout the world. What we are dealing with on the Channel is organised crime. That's the Elphick. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, that was a bit pointless, wasn't it? It's back to we have to stop the boats. That we could stop the boats if we actually provided safe routes. But we don't want to provide safe routes because... Why? Be it, because it would piss off the racists and bigots. We have to keep the racists and bigots happy or angry, whatever the case may be. Absolutely pathetic. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.